Namaskar, welcome to Honest Astrology YouTube channel and today I am going to talk about a very important remedy for Ketu Mahadasha. People who have entered Ketu Mahadasha often find it very surreal and confusing. In Mercury Mahadasha, your brain works very very sharp. Because you start to think, look, feel and act like the Mahadasha Lord and Mercury is the genius of the Zodiac. So your insights are very clear, your brain is very sharp. You are able to make decisions like this. There is a lot of clarity and certainty in life. Once you enter Ketu, things change. Because you start to think, look, act and feel like the Mahadasha Lord again. And this time Mahadasha Lord is Ketu. And Ketu is a headless planet. So the first thing that goes out of the window in your Ketu Mahadasha is this, your ability to think, your mind. I have often seen people complain and I have felt it myself, uh, your brain just doesn't work, you feel so lost in everything. So people who are able to navigate big decisions, they forget their uh, route to home, happen to me. So you forget the way literally and figuratively, outside world is in a collapse and a chaos, you seek peace in inner life, Mercury wants victory. Mercury is the planet of victory. Ketu wants peace. Ketu wants liberation. So suddenly you are no longer ambitious. You do not wish to conquer the world. You do not want to become the next senior vice president or something. You just want to keep your mind in mind. And one of the ways to do that and to channelize Ketu energies is to meditate. It is not easy to meditate in a Mercury period because your brain is going bonkers. But in Ketu period, you absolutely have to and you feel like doing it. Automatically, I have seen people try and get into some sort of a meditation when Ketu Mahadasha hits them. There are two reasons. One, your brain doesn't work. Two, you get so much beating in the outer world. And three, that inner soul calling. So all these three push you towards uh, doing some sort of spiritual activity or meditation. So when my Ketu Dasha started, similar things were happening to me. I had everything in uh, Mercury period, Gali, Bangla, Bank Balance, even Ma. And uh, Ketu just started uh, wreaking havoc on my life. And I just became disinterested in my work. I became disinterested in the external world. I wanted to focus on the inner world. I wanted peace of mind. I did not want the next promotion. I wanted peace of mind. So after I left my job and uh, there was a lot of soul searching, then astrology just happened and I'm thankful for it. But still, uh, I was trying so many different meditation techniques. Mantra chanting did help me, I must say. I have a cancer moon, so Chandra Mantra is like my oxygen. So I was trying various meditation techniques right from uh, you know, the popular ones to the little known ones. Some did help, some did not help at all. Some of them were absurd. But my aha moment came when of my, one of my elderly clients, Manjuna Sab, he introduced me to something known as the heartfulness meditation. I read their literature. And I was like, wow. Then he uh, gave me some instructions. And he told me to get a face-to-face -face setting from a local trainer. So heartfulness meditation, best part, uh, you don't have to spend a penny. There is no toolkit. There is uh, no formality required. In fact, you go to a local uh, trainer and they will give you a setting. Okay, They'll sit in front of you and there is heart-to-heart -heart transmission. Now, why heartfulness uh, is so strongly recommended for Ketu? Because Ketu has no head, it has only heart. So in Ketu, I always say you live through your heart, you don't live through your head. So when I went from for my uh, first meditation setting, that, that was my aha moment. The kind of peace I felt, it was so deep that I wouldn't want to talk for a couple of hours. When I got my first phone call, I was like, Yari, kyun call kar rahe I don't want to talk. That kind of peace I felt. After that, whenever things would get a little difficult, I'll go to my local guide, Kushal Sahib. 
and he was very very nice he you know uh, entertained me and most of these people are extremely nice and spiritual and i haven't spent a penny and i have had innumerable uh, sittings with them so i am very thankful to these two gentlemen for introducing me to this for anyone undergoing ketu mahadasha i would very strongly recommend heartfulness very strongly it is recommended for anybody who is interested in inner peace and spirituality but for ketu mahadasha people this is amrit this is the panacea so i would strongly recommend you guys to google this find a local guide and take a heart to heart transmission sitting if you are going through ketu mahadasha you will have an amazing experience i can promise you that so doing this meditation it pacifies your heart and heart is where ketu is so do that and do let me know your experiences in the comment section i wish you all the best so the kind of spiritual bliss ketu can give no other planet can give so make the most of it i wish you all the best jay ketu